practically called the world of textures. It's a fairly simple process. Several other artists discovered this online and have pictorial tutorials, of which I'll link to in the description. Essentially though, you just gather yourself up a whole bunch of nice close-up textural shots. You're looking for rust and cracks and swirls and whirls. Basically everywhere if you look for them. I'll have a video of me wandering around finding them sometime in the future. Once you have a couple of these photos picked out, you then snap them together into the same document on various layers. And you play with layer modes. Overlay, multiply, screen, glow. Kind of just run down the list until you get something that doesn't look terrible, and then you go from there. It's a process of piecing a puzzle together. You're dealing with art at its most basic level, i.e. light, line, unity, all those elements of design, buzzwords, to kind of give the piece structure and visual interest. Besides layer modes, you also have masks. So you can add another layer and then take part of the image away. Uh, this is better than the erase tool because you're able to remove and add non-destructively. If you decide an hour later you want to come back and put part of that image back in, if you did it with a mask, you can put part of it back in. If you did it with the eraser, well, you're just kind of screwed. And that's the entire process in a nutshell. We did discuss that in under two minutes. You just kind of play around until you get something you like. Sometimes you work for an hour and you have a pile of nonsensical goo on your hands that looks terrible. And then other times, not so much. And it's, it's a puzzle in the sense that you build it and you're like, okay, well, it needs something more in this segment. What can I add to it? Okay, I added that. Uh, let's make it lighter here and darker there. On and on. We'll go ahead and segue into our musical interlude of distraction now, I think. Today's piece is by Utho Riley. Very interesting sci-fi composer type.
like I said, super simple. And we're at that time again. So if you like this video, share it with everybody you know. And possibly their brothers, sisters, dogs, relatives, uncles, second cousins, former roommates as well. That would be very direly appreciated. We have something unique for a random feature at this time. I actually know this person in real life. Did you hear that? R.L. My buddy Anthony made a poetry book he's selling on Amazon. And I did the cover, which was made using this exact technique.